Good day, ladies and gents, and welcome to the highlights from round two of the Big D Premier League. This battle, of course, was fought on Saint Mer Iglesias, and we had some really good battles. Uh, just want to draw your attention to the table as it stood at the end of round two. The unfortunate part of that is that the Camara teams have had to pull out for internal reasons, and that means that this table will change. We're just waiting to hear back from the leadership team as to what the results will be. But for now, let's look at some highlights. Let's start with leadership. I'm going to keep this one simple this week. This is where you don't put a bombing run, where the enemy are not. And here is where you put a good bombing run right across everybody, including your own teammates. All right, let's stop picking on the commanders. They have a hard enough job, don't they? Let's have a look at some of the individuals on the field. Kelteth had a good little run here. Not a bad effort individually. Uh, Hitha hiding in there. Glasson. No, there's an enemy. Is there an enemy here? No, there's not. Yes, yes, there is. There's no. Maybe. It was good play here by Hitha. He got the carry. Nobody knew he was there for a while. Well played, mate. His agent going into the chapel. Uh, this was hard. Lots of people tried this. Lots of people moved into the chapel and got slaughtered. There we go. That's agent slaughtered. Here's someone else giving it a go. Gumby, he'll run in. Bet you get slaughtered too. It's what happened. A lot of dead bodies in that church. All right, so Flirp shows us how to do it. Uh, gunned down fish and then stood on a wheelbarrow and was subsequently shot in return. But this is my favourite one. Three Rambos are better than one. Uh, can't do much against tank though, boys. Man, the deaths in this particular round were awesome fun. There were so many deaths. I'm just <laughs> trying to give you as much as I can in the death stuff. Here is uh, the best one of the lot though. This was great. Everybody wants a good satchel on a tank. Jack's like, I've got this guy. If I can end it right here. Satchel on the tank boys. Nope, nope, not gonna tell anybody that I've done that. Nobody around here should know that there's a satchel on the tank. What could possibly go wrong in my team with a satchel on the tank? You know what? I'm gonna shoot it with a rocket, he says. Yep, I got the tank. Look at me go, no. There's still a satchel there, mate. I don't even remember who this was. It was probably NRD again, but uh, fastest point capture. No, it's TFK. There you go. My bad. Well done, TFK. Airheads are a contentious thing. Let's drop an airhead here. That's going to be a great airhead. Look at that. Right outside. No, it's fucked. It's gone. That's the end of that airhead. What about here? Let's drop one here. This is a good spot. Look at that. Right down the corner there. Except the enemy team uh, have marked it. Like everybody on the enemy team marked it, I think. Three power ago. You have no airhead. We take it away. So the airhead of the round actually was this one that was put a couple of grid squares away from the church. Because it's safer. Well done. You gotta love a good satchel, but I mean, you go to extents. He's he's been strafed, and then he gets grenaded as well. The poor bastard. He got his satchel off. That was it. Here's a uh, committed man with a satchel. You know, uh, there's nothing wrong with running a couple hundred meters with a satchel in your hand. Uh, when you want to kill, you want to kill. He's no, nope, didn't get it that time either. Let's jump a fence. Fucking nah, it's no good. I can't catch that. So I'll pull my rifle out and get shot. That's the end of that. So here's a good satchel. Look at that. He gets, gets a couple of bullets in him. He's like, no, he will crawl over broken glass to get a satchel up. And then for some strange reason, he goes running into where the 50 enemy are and get shredded. But the satchel was a good satchel. No one could see it. Everyone ran past it. And it was a good one. All right, so let's talk about the best individual. It's not necessarily a positive thing, although this was good play here. Uh, the best individual is someone just doing their thing. Here's uh, Reva. He's taken over from Lewis when it comes to going for a bit of a run. Well done, mate. Steve, really good machine gun position here. Uh, everyone was impressed with this one. 
Heard lots of good commentary on that. We've got uh, X. <laughs> He's like, I went. Ah, oh, no. Satchel, no satchel. Uh, here's another good effort. This was one of my favourites. Bread running with satchels in just pretty much everywhere. So here's his first go. No, that didn't end well. Here's bread. He's like, yeah, I got a satchel for you. No, apparently that didn't end well as well. And here he is. He's like, fuck this. I can run into bombing runs. Fuck you, bombing, bombing. No, you're dead, mate. But uh, this was. <laughs> this is my favourite. My favourite by far. I'm just gonna let it play out. You'll see what I mean. Some people will do anything for a tank kill. So the play of the round is where we see some really interesting stuff that you wouldn't have expected. This was a great AT gun up here. Uh, honestly though, one person should have been defending that alleyway while the other was on the gun. But still a good positioning thing. Really surprised the enemy at the start of the match. Uh, but the squad that did well in this uh, chapel really, really did well. Uh, these guys held this damn thing for so long. Uh, TFK guys, that is. Finally, they got pushed. It's yeah, Fishy going in, doing a good play. But again, the TFK boys uh, shredded him as he came in. This one here, uh, look a really good red cordial. The Invincible is like... Fucking, that's not going to buff out. And here, I'll, look, I'll fix this one for you, though, boys. I'll repair your tank now, and we'll go forward. Except that's a Tiger, and it usually hurts the old 88 mil. So, boom, thanks for coming. Red Cordial's like, I can walk that off, too. Uh, I will, actually. You know what? I will fucking attack the enemy by myself, since you tankers are useless. That's what he said. So he raced off, and he did Red Cordial things. Well done, buddy. Yet again, a favourite category, the old vehicle round. Here's the Tiger. It's in a bit of trouble, but uh, you're going to go the Red Cordial style, jump out and repair that shit. And now a bombing run to the face. That'll do it. There's lots of exploding tanks everywhere. Uh, some more. Here we go, down the street. This was a good little tank play. Just driving around, around the block, strafing everything. They played like that for ages. But this was, uh, this was a cool one, the recon vehicle at the end of the match. He's come in and... Um, well, he's driven into the ditch, and he's given that ditch a bit of a piece of his mind. There you go, ditch, take that. And then he's gone and dry humped a uh, tiger tank, because, I mean, why not? We get a different person for the Muppet of the Round this time. There's a special mention to a certain driver from the Foy Boys who drove that truck in the creek. And I know it was him because not long afterwards he was driving a different supply truck to do what he was meant to do before. I won't mention his name. But this one has to be my favourite. Uh, look, a good kill there. A, a deliberate kill of the enemy. Well done. Run him over with your back left tread. Uh, and then when you're in a bit of trouble, wait for your teammates to cover your ass by shooting the enemy that's next to you. Um... Probably a little bit of Spider-Man effort here that will never be successful in a Tiger tank. Though, to his credit, he did get out, then got back in and he turned the turret up the street and he started shelling the enemy. So, well done, mate. Muppet of the Week. Good job. 